Yo, what's going on y'all, it's your boy YND. Today I'm gonna to be breaking down the different levels of female interest, and I'm also gonna be talking about how you should assess these situations to progress to the next stage of dating. So if you don't know about my stages of dating, you gotta go watch my other video when I broke it all down on how you supposed to move with a girl, meaning the different stages when you first meet a woman, right? So you got the approach or the introduction, those go together. The goal here, you're trying to get the number. After you get the number, the next thing, the next stage is the rapport. So this can be where you're texting the girl a little bit and then you gotta get on the phone. You wanna do a phone call to build rapport, which is just building the bond with the girl a little bit so she feel like you a real person you know and and, and you she can get some of your personality hear your voice you can start putting down the mouthpiece a little bit the seductive energy and y'all can kind of get to know each other just briefly though this ain't where you do it all to getting to know right you want to still keep this short the next stage after this is the date so this is where you set up the date on that phone call preferably or at least in that rapport stage and then you set up the call the date you set up the date you hang out with the girl, you meet up or you link, invite her over, however you want to do it. You link up with the girl, you go on a date. After this, the next thing is the goal is you trying to get her back to your place or in a private area one on one. And now you get to enter into the progressions and stages of sex where you start with, you know, first base, second base type of stuff. And you taking it all the way until you smash. If you get stuck at some of these points for guys that don't know, if you get stuck, let's say you go on a date with a girl, you know, let's say you go on a date and on the date you invite her back to your crib this is the first date she comes over y'all make out you try to take it to the next level after making out right which is touching you know like trying to touch on her titties and actually rub on her and, you know different stuff like this and she said not nah, that's too much but she just lets you kiss on her a little bit or whatever you do it or she stop you before sex right if she stop you at some point before sex and she say not tonight all you got to do guys is rinse and repeat i had a guy ask me like what happens like what do i do just i didn't want to make a whole video on that but i'll just say here just rinse and repeat whatever the last stage you was on now if you get blatantly like rejected at any of these stages guys when you're dealing with women blatantly rejected i'm not talking about a shit test i'm not talking about a girl who couldn't make it to the date i'm talking about she is like rejecting your date for example you don't rinse and repeat rapport to try to get on the phone. Now that's fucking simp shit. Young and disciplined, not young and distracted. That girl is gonna waste your fucking time. Move the fuck on and go talk to other girls. That's what I tell y'all all the time. So if they blatantly reject you. Now if a girl say, hey, you know, I would love to go Saturday, but I got this and that going on. How about Tuesday or we, we could try another time. She suggests something. Now, you see what I'm saying? Rinse and repeat that. And if you want to, you know, keep the rapport a little bit here by texting look here and there. Don't get back on the phone, by the way. After you had that one phone call, you ain't getting back on the phone again. One fucking phone call. And then you can you could keep the texting going. Try again. You know what I'm saying? In a few days, whatever. Or the next week, if, you, if that day is free for you. And then you do it. Same thing with this with the sex thing. You go back. And you say, okay, I'm on the link stage. I did some of the progressions. Wait a few days, wait a week or whatever, and try to schedule something with her for the following week so you can see her and then go through the progressions of sex again. That's how you do it. I hope you get what I'm saying. So let's really jump into this. I'm about to break down the different levels of female interest. Now, the first thing I want y'all to understand, guys, is this is a guide video, all right? So you're gonna see some things you know, every girl's going to be a little different. It's not black or white. You know what I mean? It's not black or white. So, for example, I'm going to say that no interest is this and low interest is that. Not every girl that has low interest is going to show, right, or exhibit every single characteristic or trait that I say. But you can use this as a guide so you can start to get good at identifying this. And you got to be able to identify the girl's interest level because even though a girl gives you her number, like I told y'all, physical attraction that is going to be priority when a girl meets you the way you you know the way you look the way you presented yourself from your actual features all the way to the clothes you wearing and your body and stuff like this right and your hair and shit she gonna be able to determine if she is willing to fuck you within the first you know under five seconds guys for within the first five i think it's milliseconds that somebody is judging you on if she can even see herself opening her legs this is why in my approach videos i don't tell you guys to sit and have these long conversations to try to raise interest or say something funny or something i don't even want no fucking number for making the girl laugh because that just mean that 
you know, it's a it's a pity number. I don't want no pity number. I want a bitch to see me and say, damn, I like how he looked. He was confident in his approach. That's that's the other side. That's all you need. A confident approach. I get right to the right to the fucking point. Can I get your number so we can go out sometime? Or I can take you out sometime. We can get to know each other more. I say something that's alluding to something romantic. I'm not gonna tell the bitch I wanna bend her over and fuck the shit out of her. Even though that's what I wanna do, she know I wanna fuck. So there really is no point in saying that because I think that's abnormal to do socially. That's that's all I would say. Now if you want to get right to the point with that and you don't want to take her on no dates go ahead and say it knock your fucking self out uh, but if you get knocked out do not call me if she call her brother if the police show up do not call me if she say you a pig don't call me you know if that make you want to beat on your chest like a fucking alpha male i mean knock your fucking self out I, I don't care but the whole thing is when you meet girls you're gonna have girls that all you gotta be is above average in her mind to get the to get the number. So that can be, you know, I always look at at a scale five out of ten. That's average, right? So if you're looking at, you know, five point five or let's just say a six at the minimum. Now, just because she give you her number, like I said, don't mean she look at you like a nine or a ten. That's why a lot of you guys you meet girls and and when you get their numbers and stuff, they text back. But they not like sprung and all into you and you know what I mean? Validating you and texting back so fast and you ain't got nothing else to fucking do except count how many wrinkles you got on your ball sack. So you sitting around like, why this bitch ain't te texting back? What the fuck? I thought she liked me. And then you go to YouTube. Guys, there's different levels to this interest shit. And you got to know how to raise that interest. I already got videos on how to raise low interest women. Uh, so they so they can get to the point where they want to fuck you and they do look at you like an 8, 9, or 10. So we about to get into all of this. You got to be able to assess this shit yourself and recognize where her interest level is. And that's going to determine your game and, and what really she's thinking in her mind. And I'm about to go through all that. I know I had to set this up the long... I know I'm fucking long-winded, but I had to set this up. All right. So first, we dealing with no interest. So this is going to be a girl that declines or rejects you straight up right these are gonna be girls that blatantly reject you whether they do it in a rude way a kind way or whatever she ain't playing hard to get she ain't playing hard to get she's a fucking slut that girl sucked so much dicks all the dicks that she done suck is big ass vienna sausage dicks she love that shit she's a fucking freak she ain't playing hard to get when a woman really like you and she got a 10 interest she can't even fucking help it i'm talking i was look, i see this girl the other day the bitch was just staring at me and as soon as i looked at her it's just smiles and everything and then she started saying shit hinting at the fact that she want me to see her again you see what i'm saying this was a girl that i don't even know that well that's high interest guys that's high interest when a girl got low no interest she she's going to reject you flat out now there is another type of girl though that don't have no interest but she'll use you for your validation and for your time right she'll use you for your time these is girls that's gonna friend zone you and she might think that you cool as far as just a human being to be around but the reason why she friends on you and she won't go on a date with you, that's that's the, that's how you figure that out. If you got a girl right now that you can't tell because it's not a girl you just met and y'all been talking, but she ain't really show, showing no crazy signs, but she just, you know, like talking to you. I'm telling you, all you got to do is try to set a date and be seen with this girl one on one. If she won't do it. That tell you that you friend zone because a girl ain't going to want to go out and hang with no dude one on one and especially in private. If she don't have no attraction to him, she's not going to want to do that. You see what I'm saying? So that's how you dead that shit right there. Whether she's an attention whore that's trying to use you for attention and hitting you up over and over again. You know, she the, this is the fucking thought Olympics. The attention whore got her spot. She do, she know how to keep you, you know, string you along with the little hey stranger text. Hey, my ass, bitch. Hey, is for fucking horses. That's the way I treat that shit. When the girls keep hitting me up like this, I don't block them or nothing. I try to take it to someplace. Meaning take it to the next level of the progression. If you don't want to go out, if you can't come over to my crib, hey, these nuts in your mouth. You ain't going to fucking hear from me no more. That's how you guys got to deal with that, okay? Have some self-respect. And if a girl is blatantly rejecting you, she say she don't want the number. You know, you trying to flirt with her. She ain't flirting back. You try to keep a conversation. She walk away. That's no interest. And the only girl that's going to be kind about it and do this whole, it's not you, it's me. We better off as friends. Again, it's a girl with no interest, but she might like you as a person. But as far as sexual market value go and your value as a man sexually, all right, you're beneath her. You are a low value dude. You a beta male in her head. She could not see herself fucking you. The, the, those are the bitches that disqualify themselves. You know, it's not you, it's me. We will be better as friends. Get the fuck out of here, bitch. These girls, they want a dude that they can talk to 
and that's there for them emotionally, but also that they can jump their fucking bones and ride their dick all fucking night until the sun come up. I'm telling you. So they ain't playing hard to get. It ain't no game. She don't fucking want you. We looking at blatant rejection there. All right, let's go to the next one. So this is going to be a girl that see you as this is low interest girls. I'm about to break down what the signs are for this. This is going to be a girl who goes through the progressions of dating. So she'll give you the number. She'll, she'll give you the number. When you hit her up, she going to text back. But you're going to be able to tell that she not thirsty for you. She not lusting after you or, or chasing after you yet. This is because she probably see you as like a six or so around there, right? Six, six and a half, five and a half in that range. And what you'll see is that she'll give the number. She might even show up for a date. But when she's there, she's going to be more testy. This girl is going to be the one doing the shit test, you know, and, 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 and she'll be texting back slow. She's going to take three, four, five hours every time, you know, uh, and, and different, different shit like this. Her affection is going to be low and it's going to be difficult for you to kind of tell where she stands. She ain't going to be smiling at you all the time. She might not be super feminine over text. You know how when girls get really into you, they use all these emojis and shit like this, right? She might not make it 100% easy. She'll show up, but she'll shit test you a little bit. And what I mean by shit test is she gon' she it's, she's not gonna prioritize you. So if you try to set a date, this low interest girl, these is the bitches that say maybe we'll see. You know, I'll let you know. You know, and then she'll say, oh, I had something happen and then, shit like this, guys. This is where that shit happened. This is low interest. You not priority to her. Now you ain't dog shit. You not the shit beneath her shoe, right? But at the same time. And she don't really think you him yet. She don't really think that you that guy. So she's doing these shit tests. The way that you overcome this, guys, is go watch my video on how to overcome shit tests and how to pass them. And I'm about to make a more detailed one. This, the way you pass this shit is basically by having some self-respect. Bitch, ain't no fucking will see. All right? Ain't no fucking will see. You tell her, hey, you know, it seems like you got a lot going on. Don't, the worst thing you can do, I had a guy tell me this. Guy talking about, I told her, you know, let me know by this day so I know what I'm doing this weekend. Does that sound like a fucking high value guy that's hot shit that got other bitches to you? Because that's what this girl is screening for. That's what they all screening for. Women want to fuck guys that's already fucking. That's why most dudes is disenfranchised and they without. You got the haves and the have nots. The have nots stay in that world and the dudes that have it, they get more of it. And that's what the girls is wanting. So you need to come across like a guy who already got it that's what she's screening for you see what i'm saying and so the way you do this guys and the way you handle these girls is by showing your indifference you basically come off like oh, i ain't that fucking thirsty to see you. you know i'll take back my offer you don't want to talk on the phone okay well we'll just try it another day you know i had a girl y'all saw it in my video go watch it do this when the girl say she's not comfortable or you know she don't bitch told me she she don't feel like talking on the phone we had just met the fuck I'm supposed to do with that? And I ain't I ain't no fucking, you know, sitting duck. I ain't no fucking loser. So I'm not about to sit and, and talk on the phone with some bitch who don't want to talk. You don't want to talk? Okay, we ain't gonna talk then. And I told her that. We, I ain't about to talk. Who want to talk to somebody who don't want to talk? Basically showing self-respect and showing that you're not gonna take her shit, right? And that you're willing to walk away or move the fuck on. Your indifference, that's what's gonna raise those girls' interest. I would say it's kind of like 50-50. You know what I'm saying? It's 50-50. Even my video on what to do when a woman leave you on red. If she was talking to you and shit, she probably had interest. You might have said something that caused her to go away. Or you didn't say nothing. I told you, these bitches is all fucking sluts, man. When you start to understand that, especially in this modern dating game, because of all the options they get, the DMs, the matches on dating apps, all the new dudes hitting them up. You see what I'm saying? They always going to have new dudes hitting them up, guys that they think look better, guys that's, you know, four inches taller, three inches taller, his bicep was a little bit bigger, his smile was a little pretty, and it's now she distracted by a new guy. It could have it been that. I tell you guys, I told you in that. You could wait a week, hit her up, go, through, go watch that video, play it cool, and then she might come back, she might not. It's the same thing with this date shit. Even with the texting, you guys got to just take it, and you got to understand yourself. If you a dude that don't get a lot of ass... This is what you're going to have to deal with. If you maximize yourself the best you can from your looks, your money, your social, your, your status and all of this different shit and your, your mouthpiece and your game and your charisma when you're dealing with women. Well, then, yeah, you can start to afford to say, man, this bitch taking three, four hours. I don't want to deal with this. The thing is, a lot of you guys can't afford that. And that's why you're over here watching these videos. So in the beginning, you're going to have to go through this phase with the girl. She take three, four hours. You take three, four hours. That's showing your indifference. You ain't about to get that self-respect. 
Why are you trying to t text back fast to some girl who ain't even trying to text you back fast? I ain't say block her. I ain't say get mad. And you damn sure better not confront her talking about why you taking so long. Because that's how you get fucking laughed at. All right? If you ain't heard from a girl, don't say, where you being that stranger? Don't fucking do that shit. That show that you sitting around press thinking about it. You supposed to be on your purpose, on your grind, staying young and disciplined anyway. And if you still fucking faking it, at least fake it the right way and make it seem like you had some shit going on or like it ain't bother you. That's the fucking games you're going to have to deal with. A lot of these girls are going to be on that. These are some of the signs. You ain't going to be able to fully tell where she's staying and she's going to have you wondering. If you're wondering to that extent, she probably ain't, you know, it's, it's probably not all the way up there. Especially if you're still trying to go through the progressions of dating and you and she's actually complying. But she's still not super affectionate or, or showing her hand, right? Now, the other side of this is the bitch could be manipulative and watching, you know, a female dating coach because those shits exist too. All right, so let's go to the next one. The next level of interest is, I would call this moderate interest. Now, when you improve yourself, if you ain't genetically gifted to be a fucking Chad or a Tyrone, and you improve yourself to the max, and you was already like, let's say you was just average looking to cute as a guy, right, in the women's opinion, before you did any self-improvement. If you do the self-improvement, you'll go up to a level to where you'll start to get a lot more girls that kind of have this moderate interest. And this is a better sweet spot to be in. And the, and the reason why, you know, a lot of these girls will have this moderate interest or they won't, or a lot of them just won't have very high is because to be, you know, for a girl to have very high interest, guys, she you have to be her 10 out of 10 type. You see what I'm saying? Everybody got those, and, and that's going to kind of vary person to person. The odds of that is not going to be high. That means whatever your look is, your archetype, got to be exactly what it is that do it for her and her brain. Most of you guys ain't going to be that. Even the Chaz and Tyrone's ain't going to be that to every girl. But that don't mean that they still not attractive in some way. So what you're looking for with moderate is these going to be girls that show that they interested in some ways. But it's still not going to be that full blown. You know when the bitch, you know, want to touch you, she got to see you, she complimenting you, she texts back fast. She just make it super easy. It make you feel like you that nigga, right? You be sitting around like, damn, I'm a, shit, I might be able to fuck Kim Kardashian in this bitch. You start feeling yourself, you know what I'm saying? She not going to act like that. This girl is going to give more reciprocal energy to what you, you would like from a girl in the beginning. So, you know, and I meant to say this, the low interest girl too, she's not going to initiate contact. She'll text you back, but she's not going to hit you up. She she don't give a, she, she, I ain't going to say she don't give a fuck if you die, you know, but if you had pneumonia and you was this close to dying, she wouldn't give a fuck. You know, the mo is he dead? Okay, okay, I'm all right. You know, the no interest girl, you know, they, they say, Chuck died, he got hit in a car accident. Who? Chuck. Oh, you know, that's how she is. The low interest girl ain't gonna be like that, you know, but as long as you ain't actually dead, she, she'll, 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 she ain't gonna give a fuck if you ain't actually dead. The moderate interest girl, she gon', she's going to actually, you know, show some sort of interest because she's already interested in you and she wants to see where this goes. Now, she's still gonna have her little shit test. She still ain't gonna give you everything, you know, out the jump. She's not gonna be on 100, but she is gonna be in this place to where she's giving more to the conversation. Her conversation is not gonna be super dry. It's like I said, guys, this is a gray area. So for example, you might have a girl who texts back real fast, but she still ain't responding a lot, right? And what she texts back or how her energy is. You see what I'm saying? And in person, it's the same thing. She might not have a lot to say, but you can tell she's smiling. So you're gonna have to see and mix and match some of these, but I'm just giving you a general guideline. So the moderate interest, she'll say, if you ask her, you know, what'd you do today? She'll say, oh, I did this and I did that and I did this and that and that and that. And she'll send that to you. The next stage after this, she might even say, you know, what about you, right? But she ain't gonna, you know, you know, make it so obvious that she really into you she probably won't compliment you if she do it's gonna be kind of like a real dry one like you know something kind of light that's like eh, it's not nothing serious um these girls too they text back a little faster but they might not they might still take three four hours but it's more substance you get what i'm saying so that's moderate interest compared to the bitch who take three four hours and yeah she responded she wasn't like one word nothing trying to get you to run off like the no interest right but she was like you know, it's still like short and it's like, man, she ain't giving more. That's why a lot of you guys get into this fucking dancing monkey tap dancing and you and that bitch cha chi cha chi cha You trying to, you know, make her like you more. That's why you don't want to play like this. When they doing that, you want to kind of mirror what they doing. Still keep it going and trying to go through the progressions. 
right? And I can make a video on how to text women because there is other things you can do outside of just mirroring their energy. But this moderate interest girl, she gonna be more reciprocal to what you are looking for. And even though the moderate interest girl is gonna be slow texting, there are gonna be points where she probably picks it up more. So, I mean, she might go three, four hours, three, four hours, three, four, and then she'll get into this little back and forth with you for f four to five texts, three to five texts, whatever. Please don't fucking count the numbers. You know, it's one of you, some of you guys, man, y'all need me to hold your hand with everything. You sitting here right now texting the girl, one, two, shit, she got low interest, man. Like, you can't, it might be two, it might be three, it might be five, it might be six, okay? Well, he said three to five, she'll text back, you know, every five minutes for a little bit. She did it six. That must mean I'm getting the pussy tonight. I'm not gonna be a virgin anymore. No, 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 you still, you're not losing your V-card tonight, Timmy, just chill, just chill. Take what I'm saying as a general guideline and a principle and you can recognize it. And this girl, she's still gonna go through all the progressions. When she shows up, okay, she's gonna show up on the date. When she shows up, you know, she'll give more while she's on the date. You see what I'm saying? You ain't going, the, the low, they all gonna do little shit you gonna have to check their ass on. From getting on their phone to showing up late. You know, different little shit that girls do. But the moderate interest girl, you'll see less shit tests than what you'll see with the lower, with the low interest girl. Y'all get what I'm saying? So she'll show up to the dates, but you still won't be priority, right? Guys, when you get a girl attached to you and at that very high interest, her mama could be in the fucking hospital. She might go see mom or call mom, but she gonna suck that dick tonight. She gotta see you because you're priority, right? You're so valuable in her eyes. You're so attractive. She gotta see you. That's what happens when a girl looks you, it got very high interest and she's attached to you, which comes down the line, or she got very high interest in, the, in, in from the top. This is the girl that a flake on the other dudes. My video where I had the girl and she was celibate, and she flaked on that dude when I checked her phone. I saw that she was she flaked on him to come fuck me. The reason why she did that is because I, she couldn't she couldn't miss that opportunity. You see what I'm saying? She couldn't miss it. That's gonna come from very high interest. Moderate is like you ain't priority, but she is looking at you as like a real dating prospect, and she's like, I do want to see where this go. The lower interest girl is kind of like, we'll see if he make it past these. You know what I'm saying? If he'll make it to this, we'll see. You know. The, the, the moderate is like, hmm, I kind of want to, I actually want to put myself in this and go along with this more. You see what I'm saying? Now, if you fuck up, if you show any signs of weakness, if you fail her test, if you show needy energy, if you act like a beta male, if you complimenting her all the time, if you complimenting, period, validating all this shit, all of this shit is going to knock the girl's interest down and you'll see it go from moderate to going back to low. And that's because you was fucking up somewhere and how you was dealing with the girl. You see what I'm saying? That's why you got to get good with your game of indifference and not showing your hand as well. The girl shouldn't be able to tell where you stand. That's the most attractive guys. All right, next, let's get into high interest. Now this girl is going, now go watch my video on how to talk to women. You'll see that girl I called on the phone and, and when I showed our text messages, she had high interest. What does that look like? She going to compliment you. She might even make it, you know, she might, she not going to say, you know, when we going out, that's the next stage. But this girl is going to try to say, you know, she'll, she'll say something about the type of food she like and might say, oh, that would be a nice place for us to go. Have you ever been before? Do you go places with people sometimes? She'll kind of hint at that. Like, do you go on dates? This girl will try to give you opportunity to progress. That's the difference between this girl and the moderate girl. The moderate interest girl, she just going to go along with it. But if you don't do it, she probably not going to fucking do it. The higher interest girl is going to give you alley-oops and opportunities, right? You better take that fucking dunk, dunk that bitch. You better LeBron that shit. One hand, all the way back, bam, smam that shit. Because if you don't, she going to lose interest too because she going to think you a little scared bitch and you don't know how to talk to women or you not interested and women don't take rejection well because they got low fucking self-esteem. So when you see signs like this, you got to jump on this. She going to make it clear basically that she would like to see you in some sort of form. It still might be indirect. It might not be blatant, blatant. That's going to be very high interest. Most girls, when, especially when they, you know, feminine girls are in a feminine energy, just the way women are taught, guys, they not going to want to put themselves out there too much because they can't handle rejection. They, they the egos is fragile, but also they just get taught that men are supposed to do the pursuing and shit. And you are. That's just what the fuck it is. You're going to have to do it. You're going to be in the kind of the chasing state. Well, let me not call it chasing. You're going to be in the pursuing spot 
and you're going to be pursuing her. That's just how it is in the beginning. Chasing is if you get rejected and then you still keep doubling back. I always tell you that. If you get stopped at any part of the progression and blatantly rejected, leave the fucking girl alone. Abundance mindset. It's plenty of fish in the sea. Take your ass on and talk to some other girls. That's where a lot of you guys is failing. And this girl, she also, gonna, the high interest girl is going to have more emojis in the text. She might have extra whys and put a lot of ha ha ha's and laughing faces. Just stuff to show you, hey man, I like you. I want this to be easy. Progress this to the next level. This girl's also going to text back faster. You see what I'm saying? And what you'll find with this girls, with these type of girls is things will move along faster. So when you're dealing with a girl that got high interest, you might be able to even skip certain steps of the steps of the progression because she's just so attracted to you. You know, you might meet her in person, you text text her for a little bit. Maybe y'all send some audios or whatever. I would still get on the phone with her, but I'm saying you might see right then and there, oh, I don't have to do a date. I can invite her over to a talk. Now she still might not fuck you the first night. She probably won't. A lot of girls don't want to feel like sluts. Even though they are thoughts, you gotta be able to bring that thought pocket energy out of her, that freak side, so she can just, you know, slob your dick until that shit is just drenched in fucking slobber and spit. She ain't gonna do that, you know, the first night. You're gonna have to bring that out of her. But just know it is in her to do that. It is in her to do that. But these high interest girls, they'll make it easier for the progressions to go. You see what I'm saying? You might be able to move a little faster with them. And, and think about anytime you dealt with girls and things move real quick. It was usually because she had, not usually, it is because she had high interest. And so this girl's gonna text, you know, more feminine type of text, right? Flirty type of energy. You see what I'm saying? Emojis and shit like this, longer, you know, whys of the, okay, why, 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 girls do shit like this, right? You'll see that. She gonna text back faster. Instead of the three, four hours, she might do an hour and then turn around and do 20 minutes, 15 minutes. The, the more the quicker she responds and shit, usually that shows that the interest is higher because she's trying to keep you engaged. She don't want you, if you doing what I'm saying, you're supposed to treat all these girls the same, by the way. When this bitch texts you, you still supposed to wait a couple of hours. Oh, I don't want to do that, Y&D. You know why you don't want to do that? Because you ain't got nothing else to do. You sitting in the fucking room by yourself, just staring at the TV, looking at your phone and shit like this. Caught up in that world. You supposed to be on your grind. You supposed to be busy. It's easy for me to text back three to four hours because I'm actually doing shit. And when I started doing stuff like this, guys, when I actually just got more busy in my life, because I had periods in my life where I just said, man, I don't feel like chasing ass or dealing with girls. You'll start to see that, man, these girls is fucking blowing up my damn phone. And they text back quicker because you taking longer. Why is that? Well, that you acting like a guy that's indifferent. You're acting like a guy that got other shit going on. And in their mind, you probably got other bitches. You ain't thirsty for them. And because they they egos can't fucking take that and they attracted to you, now they starting to chase your validation. She wants your approval. Please keep texting me back. Please. She's trying to keep you. You want it to be like this, not the other way around. This is why I say no validation. No texting back fast. No ex giving them extra days in the week and seeing them all the time. No sitting on the phone with them for all these hours and calling them all the fucking time. No compliments. All of this different shit. Stop doing that. That's the validating behavior that's making these girls turned off by your ass. And so the man, and another thing here is it's gonna be good cooperation. She's gonna she's gonna cooperate with everything you want. Hey, you free this day? Yeah, I'm free that day. You see what I'm saying? She's going to go right along with it because she want to see you because you a high value guy in her mind. She can't miss the opportunity to see you. She's going to prioritize you over the other dudes. Now, she ain't. If her mama got a funeral, she's still going to go to the fucking funeral. Okay, I know you want all the power right now, but I'm just saying she she's going to prioritize you. Now, again, pay attention to the gray area because some girls... They ain't gonna all do the same thing. Some girls just don't do the flirty text with all the emojis, but she still might text big paragraphs or say, hey, when can we talk? When, you know, whatever the case. And again, if you deal with attention whores in this, and attention whores, guys, is girls that wanna use you for your time and basically make you their beta male orbiter in her orbit, giving you, you giving her all the attention, and she ain't gonna give you no sexual attention, which is what women know men want. They, they know you wanna fuck. So if she's trying to put you in that and peg you as a beta male, the best way to do that is try to progress to the next stage. Wherever stage she stop you, particularly the link, if they stop you, so she might get on the phone with you, but then you try to set dates and she don't want to set dates, but then she come back and still want to talk on the phone with you. That's the bitch that's trying to use you for your attention. We ain't doing that shit. Don't block her, but don't answer them fucking calls no more. And if she come back and say, hey, where you been at or something like this, you just say, hey, I've been real busy. How you been? Just play it cool. And if she say something about when I'm going to talk to you again, you say, 
I don't got time really to be on the phone. I got a lot going on or whatever. Or I would rather be, I would rather go out. Let's meet here. If she don't respond or ghost you, now you know what the fuck you're dealing with. You can play shit like that. Another thing about the high interest girl is she's when she shows up on a date, she's going to be more smiley and shit like that. She's going to try to make it clear to you that she's having a good time. You see what I'm saying? And this girl, she may even initiate physical contact. Moderate interest and low interest girls, they're not gonna initiate physical contact. And you shouldn't either. That's the PDA shit in public. If you can't fuck the girl where you touching her, stop trying to do it. Only touch girls when you in a spot where you can, you know, progress it to sex. And the reason why, guys, is because this is what every dude's trying to do. They're trying to, like, break the touch barrier to show that they're confident. But really, it's actually coming from a lack of confidence. And they're trying to, that's validating behavior. They're, they're seeking validation. They're giving the girl validation and they chasing her trying to see, is she going to let me break the touch barrier and all of this shit? Guys, you want to get in these girls' heads that you go on dates with from your indifference. You still have personality. You still can be charismatic. You still can laugh. When I say, But make sure when you're on these dates, you're holding a masculine frame and a seductive frame. Masculine frame is just making sure you got good body language, good posture. You ain't being no fucking cornball. You're not being no fucking goofball. But at the same time, you a masculine, stoic man. That, that's what you're trying to be, all right? That's what you're trying to be, speaking in a lower tonality, not nervous, fast talking and shit. All of that shit come from nerves and a lack of confidence. You need to be carrying yourself with poise as if you used to dealing with girls like this. That's the shit that's going to uh, raise their interest. And, and you don't want to be touching them because you're trying to get into their head with the way that you carry yourself and your internal value, which is all the shit that I just said. Your personality, your masculine frame, your seductive frame, your mouthpiece, just how you're talking to them, getting in their head, building the sexual tension. See, you killing it by touching her. You see what I'm saying? You want women is big on fantasy, guys. That's the type of, you know, when they watch The Hub, they get off from watching you know, the books and, you know, hearing the audio and the story play out. The story ain't for us. You already know when we watch The Hub, we skipping through that shit. We ain't got time to fucking watch the story. The girls are sitting there watching the story. That's what get them turned on. You see what I'm saying? Having her sitting thinking about why is he not touching me? Does he like me? Does he not? You know, most guys try to do this, but he's not doing it. Now you're coming off, now you're building that sexual attention, getting into her head. As long as you got the other factors, the masculine frame and the seductive frame and the way that you're talking to them and the seductive tonality, that's what's getting in her head, building the sexual attention. So by the time you get into the bedroom and you take her to the crib, oh, she's ready to go because she's anticipating it. You're building that anxiety in her and making her think about you more and fantasize about that shit, okay? But the high interest girl, she's going to, you know, she might initiate physical contact. I was on a date with a girl and the first date, she putting her hand on my hand because my hand was on the table. Like I was sitting like this, I think I'm sitting up. Or I might have been like this, just, just something like I was doing. And she puts her hand out and she's just talking and she's just touching on me. You see what I'm saying? We had walked around like this little um, mall center type of area too. And she was touching on me and shit. Those are all signs. Okay, this girl got high interest. And those girls, you always can fuck faster. First night, second night. All right, the next thing right here. We're dealing with very high interest. This is the last one. This is the girl that see you 9.5, 10 or whatever out of 10. This is going to be mostly purely off of the physical. Okay, there ain't no magic riz lines or magic mouthpiece that you could do in the beginning. Or if she saw you as a you're six, she thought you was a cute guy, you know, above average looking guy. There ain't no mouthpiece trick that you could say to make her see you as a 10 in that moment, guys. Just make a confident approach or just talk to these girls number no, normally. Talk to these girls normally. I tell you guys, you, oh, you underestimate the value of just being able to be a good conversationalist asking questions to get the girl talking about herself and you got some little th commentary to add and you just have a normal fucking conversation while still holding the mask in the frame and the seductive frame that is the shit that you gotta have that that's a lot of you guys underestimate that you guys want to say some crazy shit and you don't always got to do that and there ain't no magic lines to make the girl look at you like a 10 out the jump she either is or she not otherwise you're gonna have to play the game of indifference go through you know two three dates whatever the case and then get her to that point, all right? Get her to that point. So this high, the very high interest girl is gonna make it obvious and known that she fucking likes you. From the smiles, to the staring at you, to trying to give you opportunities. She may even blatantly say, when are we gonna see each other? When can I see you? When can we talk on the phone? And then right after that, she'll already be telling you how she missed you or really enjoyed the conversation. She'll do follow-ups and shit like this. Emojis and you know all this girly feminine shit that guys be wanting a girl to do she already gonna be there doing it She'll initiate contact if you hit her up 
It's not just gonna be reciprocal like the moderate girl. The moderate girl, if you hit her up, she'll hit you up if you hit her up. But if you skip, you ain't gonna hear from her no more. You see what I'm saying? But the higher interest girls and the very high interest, they'll hit you up. They'll taste, they'll double text. These type, this girl will double text you. She might even triple text you. She gonna be trying to progress it there quick because she's trying to say, hey man, take me through those stages or take me to the fucking end and blow my fucking back out. I need a good pounding. I want that dick. That's what she's trying to get to. So she gonna text back faster. She gonna make it known that she likes you and she gonna also, just like the other ones, make it very easy, right? Each stage kind of carry over or each level carries over. So the, the traits of a moderate girl, all the good ones in there is gonna carry to the high interest and then some. Same thing here. All the high interest shit applies with these girls and then some. This girl, you know, at the end of the day, she might even say like, what's your place look like? You know, or, you know, I would love to see your place or, oh, can we go back to your place? I don't feel like driving out far out there. This is also a girl too, when you're dealing with low interest girls, guys, you want to schedule dates in a place that's kind of convenient enough for her to show up because you want her to show up so she can deal with you in person and get to see your personality, your game and, you know, and then and, and, and your charisma, your sexual seduction and all of this different shit to help you out to raise her interest. With these girls, you can set the fucking date right next to your house and she'll drive 30 fucking minutes. Some of these girls, the very high interest girls, you can skip dates and get the girl to come over. Right, this is how I get some girls no dates at all, you know, and I done gave them minimal time. I talked to them on the phone one time, you know, you still want to do those things, guys, just to build rapport because women is flaky as shit. So she might have super high interest today. You try to skip the rapport and just go straight to the link, and then you know, you know, she woke up on the wrong side of the bed with three new matches from dudes that look like they dicks hang down to their toes, and now she wanna talk to them and she don't want to fucking deal with you no more. This is what I mean by you still want to at least hit the rapport part, but at the, at the end of the day, through all these stages, you just got to do, you just want to be able to do enough to pass these tests and do enough to raise the interest and still go through the progressions. Don't give more to each stage than you have to. This is why I don't want you guys being pen pals and being texting buddies, you know, like, like little ass school girls. Every time I think of that, I just see the Japanese girls with the school outfits but I see a dude's face with a fucking thick ass mustache. Let that not be you. You ain't supposed to be under the covers and then giggling, y'all texting for two weeks. Set up the fucking link, progress it to the next stage. But this girl is gonna be very touchy, right? Very touchy and all of this shit. So this is the identifiers, uh, guys. You gonna have to learn how to identify this. Like I said, there's gonna be gray areas. Uh, you gonna have to learn how to identify this and where the girl is at. So you can know where you're at and how much, you know, it just means with the low interest and moderate, you just got a little bit more work to do before you get the ass. It ain't gotta be crazy work, sweat off your back. Guys be like, oh, I wanna fucking deal with that. Okay, well beggars can't be choosers, bitch. If your motherfucking ass is fucking so much, you wouldn't be watching these videos. Now, if you are fucking a lot and you're trying to improve your game or get more ass, Mr. No Ass Left Behind over here, well then that's what you gonna learn from what I'm telling you. But. You know, if you got it like that and you can just deal with girls with high interest, that's great. Unfortunately, not everybody is your fine ass. You know, you just a fucking child walking, but somehow you on this side of YouTube. I wonder why, you know, you fucking liar. But that's that's neither here nor there. You guys know that a lot of these dudes on this shit don't keep it real. Um, let me know if you got any questions. If y'all want me to clear up anything, like, comment, subscribe. No ass left behind all 2024. Young and disciplined, not young and distracted. If you see a girl is rejecting you at any of these stages, the no interest girls, let that shit go. Talk to other women. Talk to other fucking women. Abundance mindset. You don't have to keep fighting for this one girl. You can't get them all. I know I say no ass left behind, but no ass left behind. There ain't no fucking magic, okay? I, I don't cast spells on hoes and wibbity wibbity bop. You are now my thought. You know I don't do that. Like if she don't like me, I can't make you. I can't make her like me. Same thing for you. If you fuck up with some of these girls, don't try to use my strategies to double back. Go talk to a new girl, man. Stop having that tunnel, tunnel vision, scarcely mindset. That is the epitome of a beta male. Women don't do that. Notice that women got a natural abundance mindset. You was at moderate interest. You said some weird shit, some lame shit. You know, you came off too thirsty, too aggressive, or you started complimenting and validating it go down. She don't say, well, I'm gonna give him another chance. Maybe he was really a higher value. Now nah, you fucked up and she move on. Do the same fucking shit. I want you guys staying on your grind, being able to assess this shit, and, and then it's nothing. You wanna talk to several women because you might meet three girls in a row that got low interest, and maybe that means you gotta go on two, three dates with each of these girls. 
if you only talk to one, now you done put all your eggs in a one basket. And if the bitch flake, if she ghost on you or whatever, she don't like how you act in person or y'all not compatible, now you back to square one. And that's two, three weeks you spent on one girl. Whereas if you would have had three numbers, you could have been sending these bitches all the same little similar texts getting this shit going, raising all their interests at different stages, so then you can start having more ass coming in, you see what I'm saying? Which will pump your confidence and help you with acting more indifferent. You want to talk to different girls, guys. And on top of that, even if you don't want to fuck a whole bunch of girls, I'm telling you, you're not going to... This is not... I know y'all want it to be like the old days. It's not the fucking old days. You're not going to walk into a bar, into the karaoke lounge, and look across the room, and y'all lock eyes, and you start fucking dancing your way over there like Chris Brown singing to a bitch, and she give you the number and make out with you that. It, it's not fucking real. It's not a 2000s music video. It's not, t- not, it's not 1945. This is 2024. Talk to multiple girls. It's going to take time to find girls that fit you. Okay, that fits you and what you even want. And sometimes they gonna flake and they not gonna like you. Like, comment, subscribe. Check out the other videos. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.